Agreed. Three scenes. Are those the three scenes? Take a look. Okay. But these are paragraph numbers. Oh. One more. A, B, C, D, E. Oh, five. Can you read the, the, for those of us that don't have one, can you read the, the green? Yeah. <coughs> My dad is... My dad is on a mission to buy a car, and his friend Harris and I are watching him go through the motions of that, and we're worried about him, because he's doing it in that manic, obsessive, back and forth, tragic kind of way. Really he doesn't need a new car. So I'm talking to Harris about him. Uh, I know that Harris also sees what I see. I say something like, so have you tried talking him out of it? He says, yeah. I think he dragged Harris into it as well. I think they went somewhere to do a test drive or something like that. So we talk a little bit about what we think could be done to help him. From the window, I'm watching my dad arrive in the parking lot downstairs, the dusty parking lot across the street. I head down to meet him because we made kind of an agreement that we're going to meet and go somewhere. As I'm heading down, I'm kind of thinking about how our interaction might go, and I'm planning to insist on walking to where we plan to go, because it'll do him good, and we might be able to talk about something meaningful which might help him. When I get down there, I see that he's parked his car and I bring my car around and I park it two spaces over from his. His car is actually a car that he's currently test driving, debating over whether he should buy it or not. I get out and I look at my car and I'm thinking how it compares to his, wondering whether or not he'll compare them as well. I think mine is better than that one, than his one, and I realize that mine is longer. So I meet up with him and we're walking back up to the apartment. He's still talking about how it's important that he gets a new car and the reasons why. One of the reasons that he lists is that the trunk in my car is no good. I'm like, what? The trunk is fine. He says, it's not very big and you can't put anything in there without it moving around. And I, I'm like, what? You just use the blanket to stop it from moving around or or you put it in the basket. There are like a million ways to stop it from moving around. And he's like, nah, nah. Then my mom says to him, just think back to when we were young and we were in Bosnia. What, what would you have done if you could have lived a day in Germany like we are now? Uh, she's trying to get him to be appreciative of his situation, to hopefully snap him out of it. She's talking about gratitude, trying to shift his focus. There's also a sense that my sister is being taken care of somewhere else by someone. And there's a sense that my dad has even forgotten about her. 
then the scene changes. And my dad and I, uh, my dad and I have arrived at this building. It's kind of like we're going to be doing some mission, like an action shooter mission. It's like bordering on horror, some like a horror movie or like in a video game. So we're preparing our ammunition. I don't have that much ammo left, but I'm like, I don't have much, but this will do. And then my dad says, no, we can fix that. Then he opens up this shelf in the wall, and it's an ammo dispenser vending machine kind of thing. He uses his credit card, and now I'm getting boxes of ammo. I'm getting stocked up. <coughs> I get one, but the other side of the machine doesn't work, so I just end up getting one extra box of ammo. Then the scene changes again. Uh, and we're being chased. My dad and I are being chased in this medieval war situation. Uh, my dad and I are on the run. A whole bunch of arrows are being shot at me and I'm trying to dodge them. So I'm doing this thing where I watch the arrows that are being shot at me very closely and I dodge each one. They fly very quickly so I have to move very fast and stay focused. It's, so it's like I see four of them flying at me and I'm judging which ones are going to miss me and which ones are heading for me. And then I focus on the ones that are heading for me and I sidestep and knock it with my hand. But I have to time it perfectly so that I hit the sides of it just before it's about to hit me. Uh, and I keep doing that while I'm running backwards. I'm starting to get the hang of it more and more. I figure out that because it's happening so quickly, as soon as I block some of them, my mind needs to let go of that and be ready to block the next ones. It's like a continuous letting go. I'm not allowed to dwell on anything. My focus needs to stay on the next thing I need to do. And once or twice I even deflect them with my body. It's a really nice, beautiful kind of motion that I'm doing. Okay, how about some ideas? How would you proceed? getting stocked up, but you only get one box. I just was wondering what you meant by getting stocked up, but you only got one. Okay. That's right. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering about that part, too, where I think it's the same part that Don <clears throat> asked about, about having to move very fast and having and being able to deflect them and making people... That's that last paragraph. Yeah. Down, down, down. Uh, so, like, I would, oh, yeah. it's okay, go ahead. So, oh, um, I noticed that he's watching others, or other others are, he's, he, he and someone else is worried about his father, and others are addressing his father, but I don't see him addressing the problem, which is really he doesn't need a new car through this whole, at least one through E, one E, different people or different si situations he encounters his father, but he doesn't address his father with that issue at any given time. Okay, you're not telling me, though, where to go to explore further. Go uh, well, he mentioned Yeah, this. hold it. Okay. David? So, um, I could give, do that if you want, but that's right. It's hold really it. Go really ahead. Go ahead. Well, there's three things. Uh, so we talk a little bit about it. 
that's when we might be able to talk about something meaningful, which is that he doesn't address that issue. Uh, when he is talking with his mother and he's there, he only addresses his father's comment about the trunk. At no time does he bring up. So I go, what was it like at that moment? Really, he doesn't need a new car. And then when he does encounter his father, what state of mind is he in? What, what was that last part? What state of mind is he in? I'm like, when his father is talking to him, one of the reasons that he lists is that the trunk in my car is no good. What state of mind is that? Okay, good. Anyway, Dad. that's where I go. Well, looking at the dream as a whole, the beginning starts really well, and the end start, it ends really well. But there doesn't seem to, and, and he doesn't, I mean, like the beginning almost sounds like the end, in that he's able to deal with everything without there really being, I don't see a statement of a problem. In the middle, though, he starts to want to compare himself. Mm -hmm. And that comparison is an interesting thing that goes from about paragraph four to about... So where would you address, address his attention, or with what question? That, huh? um, I was hoping you could help me with that, but um, let me just think, think for a second. Um, I, I don't know. I would just go through each paragraph and find out whether it's a high or a low, okay. and then and then um, I would watch for how he reacts to the comparison, and and then maybe go back and talk about that formally. Okay. John. Mm, well, yeah. Josh I, and I agree uh, with Sam. Go ahead. The last part I, I probably You'd like. You go for the last part. Okay. Yes, and how yeah. okay. well he's, he's being. Yeah, it's very rich, the last mm -hmm. paragraph. Josh? I haven't read the whole dream, so I don't really know. I mean, from the first four paragraphs, the third paragraph strikes me as interesting because he says, we made kind of an arrangement that we're going to meet and go somewhere. As I'm heading down, I'm kind of thinking about how our interaction might go, and I'm planning to insist on walking to where we plan to go. Because it'll do him good, and we might be able to talk about something meaningful, which might help him. Mm -hmm. So that seems like a goal. Mm -hmm. Like, that seems to me like a, a sincere... Like, he sees something. He wants to talk to his dad about something meaningful. And I don't see that happening. Okay, look. I read the rest of the dream, so. <laughs> what theme runs through What theme runs through all of these, as well as the second theme, um, which of course would be uh, one, two, three, four, five. This would be paragraph six, seven. So what theme runs through from one to six? Wants to, there seems to be a helping. Pardon? The idea of helping or encouraging or help. Yeah. Help. Good. Good. <coughs> Good. Help. And if that's true, hey, if that's true, then give a grade. Think about it. Give it, Give your dreamer a grade. How's he doing? Yeah. Helping. He's. The intention is to help. There's no, like Gina said, there's no actual helping, but I don't know if that you need to put that in. Well, okay. The fact that does, he's functioning. Does he's, he and others in the dream finally help him? No. Thank you. Give him a grade. Three. F. Okay. <laughs> Three out of ten. Hey. Liquor. Help. That's the thing, right? F. 
What's his mind telling him? Come on. What's your dream master telling him? About his relation with his father, and of course his mother is mentioned as well as his sister. That, uh, There's something wrong. Yeah. yeah. That, that his dad's not open like he is, for one. Mm. Now, look here. What picture do you get of the father? Come on. I thought you drew a dunce cap on him, <laughs> but he's kind of a dummy. Mm. No and, <laughs> and everyone's trying to help him. Yeah. yeah. And he just. Yeah. So he, he's a dummy. He asks. And the people are trying to help him. What don't they know? That he likes to get help. He doesn't want any help. How to help. Huh? How to help. They worry about him a lot, though. Right. Pardon? I said they worry about him. Yeah, but keep going. But they don't, um, they don't help him. They observe what's going on. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Very accurate in knowing what's going on and describing it, but you would then say? You're right. They don't know how to proceed. By the way, or they avoid it. Yeah. Did yeah. you find it curious that the gentleman who's a dreamer uh, happens to know something about philosophical midwifery? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, for, for is sure. there any evidence of it no. in the dream? And yet he does say that uh, he thinks that it would be able know. to what, talk what about I'd be looking for. Hold it, hold it. He does say that we might be able to talk about something meaningful which might help him, and which is interesting because the father is presenting a major issue. Yeah, and but he's, he's thinking about something else. Are you assuming he knows what would be meaningful, or is that evidence that it's just hopeful? Uh, it doesn't show that. Doesn't show that. Oh. I, I do. I do have an idea of, Go ahead. of uh, what I'm going to talk to him about, but I just end up talking to him like on his terms, mm -hmm. yeah. rather than pursuing what I think would be best. Well, in the dream, is there any sense that you have an idea of what would be best? Yes, there is. What would that be? Um, Well, it, it was my plan to get him to open up about what he was doing when, um, when we were walking. Um, but what is it that he's doing? Well, he's... Um, hey, look. <coughs> what name? Describes his father. Zombie. Okay. Well, I, I describe it in See, the. But that doesn't. These activities talking. So. There's some aspect of that, but go ahead. You try. Uh, he's like. He, he he's kind of like he's doing this. Uh, he's weighing up different uh, different options, and he can't make up his mind, and he's stuck. He's stuck there. Okay, see that? As a midwife, as doing dream work, what would you do with that statement in terms of the dream? I'd wonder how he feels seeing him in that condition. No. Feels, get out of feeling. Mm. Come on, come on. Don't want feels. Yeah. Come on, get content. Feels won't be. Well. Okay, look here. You, Did you hear what he just said? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, what was it he just said? He said that the father's kind of weighing, going back and forth. Right. Hey, what does that mean in terms of 
his analysis of the dream. Okay, look here. He's over here, you see. And he's looking at this. And he's making a statement about what he sees. Judge this, please. Well, when you, when you see someone is indecisive, is, isn't that clearly one of the distinguishing characteristics of a pathologos? Okay, look. So you'd want to ask... The, the name you'd like to call indecisive. Not he's, he's got. He's on a mission. What? I said so far. He. I don't see the. Uh, I don't understand how that's indecisive. He's on a mission. Well, what you? What would you say? Well, the father's on a mission. So how he presents himself, though, has some. Is worrying him. And what is it about the way his dad is presenting himself that worries him? Because his father's on a mission. Okay. Look here. That's not clear. Okay. Yet. He's on a, a mission. Um, yeah, that's another way of understanding it. But uh, okay, let me ask you this. In terms of the dream itself, could either of these be true to the dream? I describe him in the first paragraph. What would you say? Uh, I said I describe him in the first paragraph. Therefore, as what? As manic, obsessive, back and forth, and tragic. So I... S hey, notice he left out the last part. How important is the last part of that first sentence, first paragraph? He doesn't yeah. need a car. He doesn't need a car. Right. Then is he indecisive or on a mission? Don't no. <laughs> That's his father conned him. Mm -hmm. See the way he describes his father, mm. he, he's believing the father's presentation. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now look here. Therefore now you're saying, mm. oh first first paragraph okay. he well, doesn't Need a car. Mm -hmm. Hey, if that's the case, what's going on? Mm. Well, if 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 it was a midlife talk and the father was there, then I I'd, I'd want to ask, what would it mean for you to make a decision one way or another? When you don't. When you don't need a car. Right. Okay. Right. That would be helping. Right. So, hmm. would you agree everybody allows him to go through the act? The whole family in the dream, hmm. they go along with him. Right. They're all going to try to help him, but no one wants to deal with... And he doesn't need the, the, the whole, the whole, the whole of the act. He doesn't need the con. Yeah. Now that you're focusing on that, what is he doing? What is he doing? If you were to accompany, change yeah. just one thing, all right? It's not your father, mm -hmm. right? it's Jeff. Yeah. And you're going along with him. What is it, the first thing you know? He doesn't need a car. And you're now going through from... <laughs> I'm worried about him. <laughs> come on, come on. Well, he, he's... <sighs> He's he's putting. I, 
I, I, I wanted to say he's putting on an act, but he's not really... He doesn't know that he's putting on an act. But do you know in terms of the dream? I know that he doesn't need a car and that it's... Therefore, I know that he's acting up. It's his pathologos. What, yeah, but what's the, what is the pathologos? Yeah. Um, You're quite right, he's acting up, but that doesn't help us with a name. Yeah. So He's... Jack, what would you call Jeff if you went through all of this trouble with Jeff on Saturday? He spent the whole Saturday trying to help him, and everything follows. It's kind of like, like a damsel in distress. Mm. I don't know about dams. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, but that doesn't quite cover it. No, uh, because the dame would have been a phony. For this to be true, that is to match the dame in distress. I said damsel, damsel in distress. Who? Damsel in distress. Okay. Like Therefore, a, what would oh that no. be? Yeah. Well, uh, how true would it be? Well, it, it wouldn't be true at all. Uh, it's it's like a fake. Okay. Then distress. what do you want to call him? Drama queen. Ah. Um, but the, you just used the word. What was it again? Drama queen. No, before that. Dem, I forgot. Demsel in distress. What? Demsel. Yeah, I forgot what you said. No, too bad. Um, it starts with an F. Like a, a fraud? What? A fraud? Oh, fake you call it. Fake, yeah, right. fake. Fraud. So this is what? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fake... Um, mm -hmm. He's faking. He's fa this whole thing. Well, he... But now we have a better word for faking. He, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't know that he's faking. <laughs> you know? Like, it's not... He's well, not, uh, he's not so trying he's, to trick somebody. He's just in that state of confusion. Um, you want to say he doesn't know he doesn't need a car. Hmm. Yeah, it's like he's doing everything he can to convince himself that he does need a car. But you know he's not going to drive away with a new car. Hmm. That's no. That's that's not necessarily okay. Um, <clears throat> He's currently test driving and debating over the car. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's a very. By the way, that's a very um, typical s s uh, drama that he goes through. With cars, with watches, with anything he buys. Good, good. Come on. So, come on. That's why we need a name. Mm -hmm. Typical means what? For him, it's normal. Yeah. But do you want to say he doesn't know what he's doing? Then it might be a pathologist. That's okay. It's all right with me. He's like a, a kid in a candy store, but not in a good way. <laughs> so, you see, there's nothing wrong with taking that, that idea. Mm -hmm. Then what would you have to say about the kid? He knows what? Look here. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Right. So what the hell is he doing? What is that? Right. He's and this is typical of him. Yeah. Why then, if it's typical, no wonder you need a name. This captures your father's relationship. Yeah. It goes right to the heart of it, mm. doesn't it? And you're not allowed, or is anyone else, to ask anything meaningful. Mm. This is his, hey, no one can break through that, can they? Mm. 
Yeah, this... Hey, everyone has to respect what? Finish it. Come on. It has to respect the... The fraud. The fraud. But it's not specific, you know. I wanted to be... I needed to be more specific. Well, I don't mind. Um, he's putting on a show. He's... The, the masquerade. It's like... But everybody's involved in it, and they're allowing him to go along with it. Yeah. And they presumably are trying to help him, knowing you can't ask him what he's doing. And nobody points to the core of the, of the issue. Here's the core. Yeah. That's, look here. See, if that's typical, this dream is saying, you need to look at your father. <laughs> How about your mother's reaction in the dream? It, well, it, it seems to me pretty good. It's, yeah. it's, it's, um, what is she? Hey, she's too looking, right? She's, uh, Trying to, she's like trying to remind him of what what they've what they've been through, and she's trying to remind him of a time when they didn't have enough money for basic things. Whereas now he's debating over some car which he doesn't even need. Okay. So that's fairly good. Okay. That's not what she's showing. Come on. Well, well, she isn't pointing out the main issue either. If but this is the way he is, or this is typical of him, mm -hmm. right? Then that was the same at home. Yeah. Now he's in Germany. Yeah. And your mother is saying, you don't appreciate the fact that you are in Germany. Yeah. What does that do to all of this, this typical way of being? Is that appropriate for where he is? No, it's not. Oh, oh, oh. Like he's putting his energy and his time into something that's meaningless. And that's old. And that's old. It's like an old way that of... It goes way back. Yeah. He's carrying that all the way, right? It's like a, a, um, a sense of... Uh, a very strong sense of scarcity in the way that he's debating this thing. And your mother, how, well, how do you like her comment? Come on. I think it's pretty good. And how? Yeah. Hey, you don't appreciate where you are. You're in Germany. Yeah. Is that wake up? Yeah. Is that meaning, hey, this was in Bosnia? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a poor man's attitude. Yeah, that's it's right. It's like we have to save every cent and oh, we have to weigh right. up exactly. Look here. A poor man's attitude. Right. What is that? So now you can put a name on that poor man's attitude. It's um. It's he's being cheap. <laughs> okay, I'll write it. But by the yeah. way, I, this is a, this is language. Uh, cheap and. Um, so, um, what would? Uh, Ideally, you'd like to say to him in that dream. You don't need a car, and you're wasting your time. Just his time? And everybody else's. Um, on some 
So you, you're still being the way you were when you had nothing. Right. Well, there's a name for that. They need a name. Look, we would like to know when you're not involved in this family game, how are you? That's the last paragraph. Read it. Good. Yeah, Very good. Read it. Okay. Um, mm. We're being chased in a medieval war situation. My dad, or maybe someone else, my dad and I, or maybe someone else, are on the run. A whole bunch of arrows are being shot at me, and I'm trying to dodge them. So I'm dodging, I'm doing this thing where I watch the arrows that are being shot at me very closely and I dodge each one. They fly very quickly so I have to move very fast and stay focused. So it's like I see four of them flying at me and I'm judging which ones are going to miss me and which ones are heading for me. Then I focus on the ones that are heading for me and I sidestep and knock it with my hand. But to that, but I have to time it perfectly so that I hit the side of it just before it's about to hit me. I keep doing that while running backwards. I'm starting to get the hang of it more and more. I, I figure out that because it's happening so quickly, as soon as I block some of them, I need to let go of that and be ready to block the next one. It's a continuous letting go. I'm not allowed to dwell on anything. My focus needs to stay on the next thing I need to do. Mm -hmm. Once or twice I even deflect them with my body. It's a really nice, beautiful kind of motion that I'm doing. What does this expression do to what you're doing in the dream? Running backwards. Yeah. It makes it um, even more yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought it was funny that that state of mind that I'm in when I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. um, Last sentence. Go ahead. It's a, it's a continuous letting go mm -hmm. of what just happened, mm -hmm. which is like the exact opposite of what my right. dad is doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah and not dwelling on anything. This is where you are when you're out of this. Right. Yeah. What's your mind telling you? Mm. Yeah. If I get out of that, <laughs> I can do some fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, Roy. Roy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what stops this mm -hmm. state of mind. No. See, here, no interrelationships with yeah. yourself. And here, you're involved in people. So it'd be good to uh, uh, say, well, what did you say, uh, what name would you give your father? What would you say then if you were given the chance? I would say you're, you're dwelling on the past and on the future and letting the present go, go past you. Yeah, would that help him? Oh, uh, no. Oh, try one once more. Okay. Come on. If I, well, if I wanted to really help him, I would... Um, question him about what he's doing. It would have to be a midwifery kind of talk. That remark telling him would have to be said in the first and the second paragraph. What? Agree? 
Or I have a question. Especially after the end of the first. Yeah. Then I don't need to go through all of yeah. this stuff. Oh, sure. It means putting it into words and sharing it. Of course, if you were to do it, of course, you may uh, lose your head, but we don't mind. You're done? But what, it, well, what about the fifth paragraph? When the father says, I need a new car because your trunk isn't big enough, well, There's that, a, could, that's yeah. kind of weird where the father's using his car to justify why he needs a new car. Yeah. It, it doesn't. So could that have been a good entryway into the asking him something? Well, uh, see, th that would be having to tolerate everything up to that point. Right, true. Mm -hmm. Or could I ask him hmm. how did how did what did he think when his father said that? Well, yeah, you could, but it would. But uh, you, yeah, David. Well, that's a, that's a, that that point is an example of the comparing that goes on yeah. in the family. But I, he was. A, I, I just want to say something. Yeah, right. um, it, the name, the mass. You kind of stumbled over that. Uh, would ambivalence be a, 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 a good name for that? Um, kind of a debilitating ambivalence? It's mm. Yeah, it's kind of, um, it's so vague that he's, he's neither here nor there. Right. And it's, like, but, there's, but there's no conclusion. But it's debilitating. Yeah. And, and it debilitates everybody else. Mm. And, and the other point I wanted to make was that, um, you know, he gets from Bosnia to uh, Germany, which is like, uh, I know that scene, um, I had some friends do it, and uh, it's a big deal. But he's still in it. Mm. Yeah. Now he's about as far away from Bosnia as you could ever get yeah. on this planet, diametrically through the pole. Yeah. Right? And and it, it, I, obviously, it doesn't matter where you are when you're in that game. It's, no. it's a be, he takes his debilitating ambivalence with him wherever he goes. And that's an interesting observation about a path of Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's for the, all of these are possible, you see. But it, it's, how important is this? Well, that's... Right? He doesn't yeah. need a car. Mm -hmm. That that's the main that's the main thing. Like that's can you use that? Can you use what's there? This is what's there, mm -hmm. and use that in response to your father. Hey, Dad, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh. You're, I would say, you're involved in something which it's a complete waste of time. Because? Because you don't need a car. That's right. What does that do to you? Mm -hmm. That's uh, hitting, it, hitting the nail on the head. Yeah. Yeah. What's that like? It's good. All right. Okay. That would also. Yeah. I was just thinking in terms of him dodging in the last paragraph. I'm wondering if that is something that is okay to do and have fun playing with. But what would be the difference if he dealt with his family father directly rather than trying to dodge? If there's something involved in the idea of dodging, well, yeah, that that fits. Um, got, 
going to the point rather than dodging his attacks or his his arguments. Right. Yeah. Yeah, one hit is believe. Yeah. But walking backwards. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why are you mm. Mm. Um, dodging? <laughs> why are you making believe? Uh, well, I'm, I'm supporting his game, mm -hmm. right? See, that's what you want to stop. So what would you have to say to him that would include your willingness to be free of the game? Mm. Mm. I don't want to be involved in your waste of time. Because? Come on. Because you don't need a car and I don't need to listen to you All right. talking about <laughs> Okay. Any other dreams? Then we'll jump into where we're going. Okay? Let's take a break for a few minutes. Okay.